We now work on the inclusion of heritage knowledge in action learning pathways to future sustainability. The key question that um, is central to a lot of our work is how do we deepen subject pedagogy? We looked at how we can expand it. So if we look at critical realism and learning across the past, the present, to reimagine a sustainable future, then the work of Chikamori et al. in Japan and the work of my colleague um, Ingrid Schudel at the Environmental Learning Research Center is really important because it provides us tools to deepen our understanding of pedagogy, looking at past where stories are brought in, real, true life stories, and the present, the um, current experiences that people are having, and then the exploration of future possibilities. And the Chikamori perspective oh, looks quite complicated to start with, but if you focus in on the student and the matter of concern, then how Indigenous knowledge fits in becomes really clear, because cultural historical story sharing and life experience story sharing is a foundation for relevant learning because it brings out what is and what is not and starts the learning process in different ways for different children and in different situations. And then the learning becomes a more collaborative process where we're able to look at deepening inquiry um, to investigate the current situation and the present experiences that we're having. And then into the future, what could be and what should be can come to the fore around design solutions and change challenge assessment so that the students can engage with what can be and what they can do in these situations. And in the handprint care, what we look at this um, through the lens of critical realism is action, an action learning journey. And if we take the four quadrants again, what we're able to do is to take this really rich and depth perspective on um, learning and examine it around um, four simple questions. How were things in the past? Which allows us to look at how are things today? And then to look at what does that mean to us today? And, you know, what can we do about these concerns? And how can we make things better together? So great theory, allowing for deeper pedagogy and um, inspiring us to work on question sequences around real life concerns and historical cultural capital that we can bring into um, the learning processes in our classrooms.